A Metro Detroit mother sounding the alarm. She says her son's school bus was an hour and 15 minutes late. Welcome to 7 Action News at 6. I'm Dave Llewellyn. Now that mom says this has been a constant battle and enough is enough. We took her concerns to the Pontiac School District and they pointed to a shortage of bus drivers. In fact, they're down as many as 17 drivers and they're not alone. Districts across Metro Detroit are prominently posting job openings online. 7 Action News reporter Faraz Javid not only went to that bus stop in Pontiac, he saw this mother's complaints firsthand. Jasmine Bell lives in Pontiac and works as a pizza delivery driver. My kids do, they come first. Jasmine has six kids. One of them is Amari, who was diagnosed with autism last year. So I switched to afternoons to go around with all of my children's school schedule and for this to happen, it, it's just, you know, it's devastating. This is where five-year-old Amari lives with his family. And right here is where he gets picked up and dropped off for school every day. The problem, mom Jasmine says the bus is late on an average 30 minutes every day. Yesterday was the worst when it was late by an hour and 15 minutes. The bus is supposed to be here 445, no later than five o'clock. Jasmine showed me the security footage where the bus can be seen arriving at 6 p.m. I just want answers as to why is it, you know, I've gotten the excuse, oh, they have, you know, they're short staffed. I get it, but in the same token, like this is somebody who he cannot speak, fend or fight for himself. So I'm the one that has to do that for him. To my surprise, while Jasmine and I were talking, Amari's bus arrives, stops for a second and drives off without dropping off Amari. Oh, the bus is going there, actually. It's going away. This is, this is embarrassing. This is so embarrassing. I just can't even believe this. Seeing the bus headed in the opposite direction, Jasmine quickly calls Owen Elementary School. I'm, I'm just trying to get an understanding. Due to privacy reasons, we can't play the call, but the person at the other end says it's wrong and instructs the bus to turn around. Come on, baby. It was now time for answers. I met up with Pontiac School District's Heidi Hedquist and showed her what we captured on our cameras. We've had a lot of backup drivers coming in to assist us due to the shortages. And we've had spare drivers covering routes from Detroit. And is there a reason why uh, yesterday the school couldn't notify Jasmine earlier? The school jumps on information as soon as they receive it. I don't know where the disconnect was. Again, perhaps the driver was unable to get to an area where it was safe to contact them sooner. Perhaps it was a situation where there were multiple calls happening at once. Now the school district is actively looking to hire more bus drivers. They've even increased the pay and signing bonus. In the meantime, Heidi says they're exploring other options like introducing an app to track school buses. Reporting from Pontiac, I'm Faraz Javid, 7 Action News.